Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. In a couple of weeks, Ponzi and I are taking off to Germany, and that'll be about a 10 or 11 hour flight. We're going courtesy of GM, which will be sponsoring the trip, uh, General Motors. Uh, they uh, are going to be a part of a, an auto show in Frankfurt, Germany, and they were noticing how we do all this live streaming thing, and they said, hey, do you guys want to try to live stream from an auto show in Germany? And we said, yeah, man, you know, give us some wiener schnitzel and load us up with some beer, and that will make one hell of a live stream, I tell you. So uh, we're going to Germany. You'll be with us the uh, whole way, or as much as possible. Uh, so stay tuned. It will be uh, an international live program here real soon. So I thought what I'd do is show you some of the things that I carry around in my backpack, uh, some things I've been carrying around for a while, as well as some things that I've recently gone out and purchased, just because this is something that I hate carrying around with me. Cords and cables. Ah, the clutter drives me nuts. This happens to be my iPod cable, or specifically my iPhone cable. So what I did, uh, or this from Amazon, a ZipLink uh, iPod to USB adapter. The nice thing is, it's completely retractable. I love retractable cables. In my opinion, you can't have enough retractable cables. So, I will be taking a couple of these things with me uh, on the trip. It'll save space and uh, the cords won't get in my way because, or this one won't because it'll be retractable. Uh, now, on that theme, I also happen to have, uh, this happens to be a verbatim kit. It comes in this nice case and inside uh, are a handful of adapters. So, for instance, if I need to extend a USB cable, I could US use this USB extender. Uh, there's the male USB that would normally plug into the side of a computer or laptop, and then there's the female end. And then basically on the female end, I could plug in, let's see, the male end, woo, and then extend the USB cable. So it's nice for a lot of, thing, a lot of reasons, and then of course, it's retractable. This is the verbatim version, uh, but you know, for all intents and purposes, it looks the exact same way. Um, then I've got a, a retractable Ethernet as well as phone jack connection, uh, which should serve me well. I don't plan on using dial-up anytime soon, but you never know. Um, here is uh, a little adapter. It's got a mini USB on one side and a regular old USB on the other side. Uh, then I also have on the other side of, of this package this nice little kit. With a, it's kind of a hard exterior, very, very nice to travel. Uh, I've got another uh, phone adapter or RJ11. I've got an airplane audio adapter. Uh, I've got a, a small, very, very small USB mouse and a very, very tiny, you're going to love this. This is like my favorite part. Look at this thing. This is a USB hub, a four port USB hub. Uh, no easier way of extending, no smaller way of extending your USB ports. Can't have enough USB ports as far as I'm concerned, especially when it comes to charging devices like the iPhone or specifically the next thing that I carry around with me. This is my PSP charging and sync cable all in one. For some reason, the, uh, Sony decided to ship separate cables for charging uh, and, and deciding not to let users charge by USB. Well, that's kind of, in my mind, insane. So this particular cable, it's a custom cable I, I picked up from uh, one of those PSP order sites or Amazon, one of the two, uh, that has the power adapter on one Y part of the cable and the other Y split off is the USB for, of course, syncing the data to the computer. And then there's the mini USB that connects to the PSP. So uh, I carry this around with me as well. I just have a nice little black Velcro that ties around it. Unfortunately, it's not retractable. <clears throat> Sony, you gotta work on that, especially with portable devices. If, if there's a portable device and it doesn't have a retractable cable, I think the manufacturers are doing users a huge disservice. Now, as far as charging goes, normally I charge by USB, whether it's a PSP or my phone and or mobile device. Uh, if I don't have to have a laptop uh, around, then I have to rely on charging by battery power. Here's an Energizer, I don't know what you would call it, adapter of sorts. has a mini USB on one end, and of course if it charges by regular USB, I could use my converter to go from mini USB to the, to the regular sized USB, uh, or the one, more commonly one that's, you know, that you use when you plug into uh, the USB on your computer. Uh, and then it just goes off of regular uh, trip or AA batteries. 
And so I pretty much have an unlimited supply to recharge whether uh, or not I'm near uh, an outlet. Now, speaking of near an outlet, uh, one thing I really appreciated with Apple when they released the iPhone, this little AC adapter for USB. Now, I talked about this before because I picked up a separate device that, that pretty much does the same thing. Uh, essentially, if you don't have a USB port on your computer, but you need to charge something by USB, well, just uh, walk over to your nearest outlet, plug this in on one end, right, th that goes in the outlet, and then plug your USB device on the other end. And as long as it charges by USB, you are good to go. I think USB is an amazing universal adapter, uh, and that's the whole idea. I mean, the, the, it's, it's ubiquitous. It's about as ubiquitous as power adapters come. Uh, now, on, on that note, uh, I knowing that I'm going to be in Germany, they have uh, a different electrical system uh, entirely. Uh, there is a, a converter that's available. This is a Belkin converter, and I, just looking at the options, uh, I'm I'm going blind here. Uh, look, you're not going to believe how many variations on the theme there is out there for uh, electrical charging and whatnot. So I've got a handful of these. What has me most concerned is when it says does not convert voltage. Connected device will or must be rated to handle both 110 and 220 to 240 volts. So even though it's universal, it's not truly universal. It's not going to tell me whether or not my device is rated at, at both of those levels. So what I may end up doing is take these with me anyway uh, and triple check, charge most devices by USB, uh, and, then, and then possibly going out to the Apple store, whether it's a local Apple store in Frankfurt, if there is one, or the local Apple store here in Seattle and picking up an adapter specifically for the MacBook so that I can carry that around with me so that I can know for sure I can use the MacBook and charge it in any outlet in Germany and be relatively safe. Now, uh, in terms of extending outlets, here's something that I'm probably going to make more use of in the States than I will overseas. This is a power strip. It's no bigger than my hand. Grounded on each outlet. Uh, four ports, essentially, and uh, the, the cable ties back upon itself. It's not retractable, but it is quite clean. Uh, I can tell you I needed this uh, many, many times, uh, going out into various hotels where they only have like one outlet available, um, wanting to extend that, not having an extension cord. And of course, extension cords can be messy. This is perfect. Uh, I also have a portable mouse. This is a Microsoft mouse, uh, the USB a uh, key, I guess, fits inside it, or adapter, uh, that connects it to the computer, fits nicely inside it. And when it's not in use, then it doesn't, well, watch. It only is in use when this adapter is uh, outside, and of course, it would hopefully be plugged in. And then it slides back in, and then no battery is being used. Uh, the battery on this thing, I believe, is like a double A or a triple A or something like insane. It's, it's, it's definitely a replaceable battery. Uh, if I can remember how to open it. It's been so long since I've used it. But, you know, these are nice uh, when you want... Oh, there we go. <laughs> I just pressed a button. Oh, it's, it looks like it's a uh, AA battery in there. Uh, and the whole thing just popped off right there. It was that easy. Um, this is nice when you don't want to use the trackpad. So, for the most part, that's what I'm going to be taking with me in terms of adapters. I try to keep it clean and, 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 and a, a, as useful as possible. I really don't want to clutter up my bag with more cables than necessary. I'm glad to see that the adapter for the uh, MacBook Pro uh, will wind in around these little notches that, that pop out. So it will make it easier to carry around. Portability is key. What about you? What kind of travel adapters do you use uh, or not use? Which ones do you avoid? I mean, am I crazy for not wanting to have so many cables lying around? If I could, I'd go either completely wireless or with uh, retractable cables. I think this is this is definitely a lot more elegant solution uh, than carrying around cable clutter. But you have to sometimes, you just have to. Uh, leave your suggestions, ideas. Uh, you know, I'm always looking for different solutions for my own needs. Uh, you're, you're welcome to post away your comments. Or, of course, you're, you're also welcome to swing by the chat room, as everybody knows. Well, everybody in the chat room already knows, because that's where they're at right now, in IRC. That's right, we're there 24 hours a day. Whether or not I'm in the United States or in Germany, there is always one URL to find me at. Well, actually, there's a couple. Live.perillo.com. We'll see you later.